Introducing the latest pocket fountain pen from Monteverde called the MVP. Do the initials stand for most valuable pen or many vexing problems? Let's find out in today's pen review. This review of the Monteverde MVP is thanks to a special request from our VIP customer, Joe Ellen of Texas. She wrote to us on Facebook asking if the MVP will accept a converter or can it be converted to eyedropper. But before we fill up the MVP, let's take a look at the pen's design. This pocket-sized fountain pen has a cylindrical barrel with flat ends. The cap and barrel meet flush when the pen is closed and remain flush when the cap is screw posted on the back end barrel threads. A thick, tension-fixed chrome clip aligns with the face of the nib when the cap is posted on the back. The only branding on the pen is at the top of the cap. The Monteverde Mountain logo is engraved along with the words Monteverde USA MVP. Although Monteverde designs their pens in the USA, these pens are manufactured overseas. Inspired by geometric abstract art, the MVP is available in three colorful resins. Red puzzles, blue squares, and green abstracts. Each design contains a patchwork of various colors. The blue one has a bit more translucency through the material, while the green offers a bit more chatoyance, and the red is the boldest, combining a vibrant red with black, gold, and purple. To show the MVP size, here's a comparison against other pocket-sized fountain pens like the Caveco Sport, Estabrook JR, Faber-Castell Loom, and Le Bon Expression. The pocket size design of the MVP only allows for one international ink cartridge to fit. However, since we have the ability to try converters from other brands, I was able to find one that worked for Joe Ellen. The Caveco Squeeze Converter is not going to wow anyone for its ink capacity, but it is your only alternative to syringe filling ink cartridges. I did try to eyedropper fill the MVP. However, there must be a small seam at the base of the back end barrel threads that slowly seeps ink. So that's gonna be a no for me. Screw off the MVP's cap to reveal a tapered grip section and the number five size stainless steel nib with plastic feed. The nib and feed housing unit can be unscrewed from the grip section. Please note that if your nib and clip do not align with each other when the cap is posted, it could be that the nib and feet are not screwed in all the way in the grip section. I did come across one pen that had this issue, which was easily remedied just by tightening the screw fit in the nib. The number five size stainless steel nib is available in extra fine, fine, medium, broad, 1.1 millimeter stub or Omniflex. I used the Caveco Squeeze Converter to ink up the Blue Squares OmniFlex nib with Monteverde Iced Cookie. Despite the slow leak, I still left Iced Cookie in the green abstracts pen with a stub nib. To round out the three pens, I plugged a black ink cartridge into the Red Puzzle's medium point. I'm relieved that the cap posts on the back the same way every time and that the clip lines up with the nib. It takes one and a half rotations to remove the cap from the nib and about one and one quarter rotations to screw it on the back end of the barrel. Without the cap posted, the pen is very small, a little more than three and a half inches. The pen feels most comfortable and balanced when writing with the cap posted. Despite having a narrow grip section, the MVP handles well. The blocky threads and small step to the barrel are not sharp or uncomfortable to hold if you prefer gripping the pen from farther back. The nib on the medium point was surprisingly smooth with a slight hint of feedback. The flow is a touch on the drier side, but will keep up with fast handwriting. The stub nib feels more like a cursive italic with a significant degree of feedback. It does provide a great deal of line variation to instantly add calligraphic flair to your handwriting. Without any flexing, the OmniFlex nib writes like a smooth, fine nib. Adding finger pressure on the downstroke widens the line to be thicker, broader, and wetter. The line won't be as broad as the downstroke of the 1.1 millimeter stub, but it will lay down a more saturated line of ink. The MVP collection has its own distinct packaging inspired by geometric abstract artists like Mondrian. 
Remove the sleeve to reveal a black plastic clamshell gift box with an inner felt lining and platform. Underneath the sashed platform, you'll find Monteverde's limited lifetime warranty, two ink cartridges, and more information about the pen collection, as well as other pens available from Monteverde. So is the MVP a valuable pocket pen? At $35 retail, on sale at goldspot.com for $27.95, this pen directly competes with entry-level fountain pens like the German-made Lamy Safari and Caveco Sport. The screw post and lack of a full-size converter option may be a deal-breaker for some. For beginners who enjoy the convenience of a fountain pen cartridge, this pen is a good deal that has more artistic flair than other entry-level pens. Do you like pocket fountain pens? Let us know your favorites in the comments below. If you'd like to see more suggestions on starter fountain pens, check out our best recommendations in this video here. Find the perfect nib size for your handwriting style by watching this video here. For more pen reviews and product unboxings, subscribe to our channel right there. Thank you for watching and stay inky, my friends. Take care.